Things are changing in F1. The forthcoming 2026 engine regulations are set to redefine efficiency, fuel conservation, and environmental consciousness. Can we anticipate an amplification of power as a result of these changes? What else is changing when these changes are coming to Formula One? Let's find out! Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with everything Formula One. The forthcoming generation of Formula One cars, set to grace the tracks in 2026, will retain their remarkable power while achieving remarkable energy efficiency and carbon neutrality, courtesy of groundbreaking engine regulations recently finalized. Now, what are the extent of these transformative changes? As we all know, Formula One, in collaboration with Aramco, has been working tirelessly to revolutionize the way their power units operate. The new F1 power units are going to run on fully sustainable fuels. With intense research and testing, they have cracked the code to ensure that no new fossil carbon will be burned. Instead, they're turning to sources like non-food materials, authentic municipal waste, and yes, even extracting carbon right from the atmosphere. The current 1.6-liter V6 turbocharged engine evolves to incorporate an immensely powerful electrical component. The MGUK Kinetic Motor Generator Unit is set to triple the electrical power generated by the existing hybrid components. How? By capturing and utilizing more of the energy that would otherwise be wasted during braking. In 2026, the aim is for the MGUK to produce a whopping 350 kilowatts of energy, a tremendous leap from the current 120 kilowatts produced by the MGUK and MGUH. Despite the higher proportion of electrical power, the new power units will consume less fuel overall while still delivering over 1,000 brake horsepower. And here's the fascinating part. F1 is shifting from controlling fuel flow based on maximum mass flow rate to a maximum energy flow rate. It's all about pushing boundaries and finding innovative ways to maximize efficiency. Now let's talk about costs. Formula One is taking a proactive approach to cost reduction. An engine-specific cost cap coupled with the ban on expensive manufacturing materials and systems like the MGUOH, as well as the use of standardized components, will help bring costs down. New Formula One regulations have also caught the attention of some major players in the automotive world. When the new regulations roll in, it is set to welcome an impressive lineup of six power unit manufacturers in 2026. This marks a significant milestone for the series as it will boast the highest number of manufacturers since the 2008 season. One of them is Audi. They see these new regulations as a golden opportunity to hit the ground running, not just as an engine supplier, but also as the title sponsor for Sauber in 2026. Andretti Global has already expressed its intentions to establish an F1 team in collaboration with General Motors through its Cadillac brand, although initially without an engine supply. Historically, new manufacturers entering the sport as engine suppliers face the challenge of catching up with their established counterparts. To address this issue, F1's chief technical officer, Pat Simmons, emphasized the importance of creating a level playing field for new engine manufacturers through the new engine regulations. The objective it is to simplify the complex combustion systems and bridge the gap between designing conventional racing engines and Formula One engines. Simmons expressed enthusiasm for the interest shown by manufacturers such as Audi, Porsche, Cadillac, and others, as it adds prestige and value to the sport. Coinciding with this potential influx of new manufacturers, FIA President Mohammed bin Sulaim has initiated the process of expanding the grid beyond the existing 10 teams. While Andretti has been the most vocal in expressing their interest, there are reservations within the paddock about their entry plans and the contributions they would bring to the grid. Simons, however, welcomed the idea of new teams and an increased number of cars on the grid, as long as they bring quality and value to Formula One. Reflecting on the sport's recent success, he acknowledged the transformation from a cost center to a profit center, which has piqued the interest of prospective participants. It is no wonder that more entities aspire to be part of this thriving environment. But many are wondering how the existing teams are going to adapt to these new rules. Keep watching to find out how. The Aston Martin Formula One team 
has just inked a significant deal with Honda. They are forming a works partnership, and starting from the 2026 season, Honda will be providing power units for the team's F1 cars. This collaboration is not just about the present, but also about the future. The powertrain supplied by Honda will be meticulously designed and developed to comply with the upcoming power unit regulations. These new regulations will bring about exciting changes, including the implementation of more deployable electrical power. And let's not forget, the cars will also be powered by 100% sustainable fuel sourced from Aramco. Red Bull has also made waves with their latest collaboration, teaming up with none other than Ford. This exciting partnership aims to provide a boost to Red Bull's powertrain department as they work on developing an incredible next-generation power unit set to debut in 2026. Hamilton believes that Formula One needs to improve as a sport and close the gap between teams to provide more excitement for fans. While he acknowledges the efforts made to bring teams closer, he suggests that further changes are necessary before the next planned overhaul of the rulebook in 2026. He appreciates the ongoing evolution and experimentation flint on, but expresses concern about the persistent gaps between teams. Hamilton doesn't have a definitive solution for the future, but emphasizes the need to adapt and improve the regulations to avoid a stagnant situation. Fernando Alonso holds the title of being the oldest driver on the grid, when the 2026 season rolls around, he will reach the age of 44, assuming he can still deliver when we get there. Despite his age, Alonso remains highly motivated and passionate about racing. However, when asked about how long he plans to continue competing, he couldn't provide a definitive answer. Another team that could benefit from these changes are Haas with Gunther Steiner in the front. With the introduction of the new regulations in 2026, Steiner acknowledged the need to plan for the long term. He emphasized that not every team can become a works team, as there will only be six engine manufacturers in 26. Therefore, four teams, including Haas, will rely on customer engines. However, Steiner also highlighted the importance of considering the direction of Formula One and the fact that manufacturers may come and go while teams remain. He emphasized that becoming a manufacturer in the future is not the sole objective for Haas. The team is open to different possibilities and will adapt to the circumstances. Steiner drew attention to Aston Martin, currently a customer team using Mercedes engines, which has achieved success lately. Overall, the new power units will run on sustainable fuels, triple electrical power, and reduce fuel consumption. Major players like Audi and Andretti Global are joining, while existing teams form partnerships. Lewis Hamilton calls for F1 to improve competitiveness. Fernando Alonso's future is uncertain, and Haas embraces the reality of being a customer team. What are you most excited about for the future of Formula One? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Formula One content.